Hi, I'm Annika, and I am an amputee. After complications of removing a tumor in my foot, I end up amputating my leg below the knee. I created this page to educate people about disability, show people some of the cool stuff I do, and also some of the shenanigans I get into. So come join my journey in my life as an amputee. What's up guys, Annika the Amputee, and like I promised you, this is my second video of the week. This never happens. Wow, I am so on it this week. Don't expect this all the time, because like I said, it, this never happens. Today, we are gonna talk about this fancy thing called fly socks. Throughout the day, your body shrinks and swells, whether you know it or not. And that can be anything from weight gain, weight loss, water weight, having a beer, having a meal with too much salt in it. Like your body just kind of shrinks and swells throughout the day. Well, as an amputee, this thing does not shrink and swell throughout the day to accommodate for the fact that my body does. Because carbon fiber tends to stay one size. Except in the case of the Titan, but that's a different story. Too soon? So what will happen if you start losing weight, which is typically what I tend to happen throughout the day just because my body's walking and I'm exercising and I'm just kind of being active, my leg typically will shrink throughout the day. So there's something called pistoning and pistoning, you can kind of see it right here because my leg has already shrunk throughout the day. And it's just this in and out motion. And that's really uncomfortable for your residual limb and you can get pretty bad bruises. You can even get hickeys because it's trying to suck down on the bottom of your leg. And let me tell you, getting a hickey on the bottom of your leg is a really weird thing to explain and just a not comfortable experience. So they invented these things called socks. And these honestly are kind of like socks that you wear on your normal feet. However, it is stump shaped. So they have these for Below knee amputees and above knee amputees are different sizes, but there's different ply of socks. Think about ply of toilet paper, how one ply is really thin and two plies a little bit thicker. So you have, you can have one ply up to five ply, and I believe it's one, three, and five are your options. Those are the ones I know at least. But this was the three ply, so you can actually put this on over your liner. And this works really well with pin locks. There's actually a hole for it even. And then this is going to account for the weight that I've lost throughout the day. Typically throughout the day, I only lose about three ply. And then I can just put my leg in like normal. And now I'm no longer having that pistoning issue. And so it's just a lot more comfortable to walk. When you first lose your leg, you will use ply socks so much because you shrink so much in your first couple months if not first couple years as an amputee. Your ply socks are going to be your best friend but once you get to a certain point it depends on your prosthetist and your insurance but once you get to a certain point your doctor will make you a new leg because you can't have too much ply or the shape of your leg is completely affected and then your prosthetic leg is painful no matter what you do. As you can tell, my ply socks are black. I don't know why the standard is to get you white ones, but they do have black ones. So ask your doctor to order you black ones because quite frankly, they just look nicer and they don't look so dingy and dirty when you wear them a long time. But yeah, so ply socks are something that I never would have thought about before I lost my leg. And ply socks are so convenient because without them, I would either be in pain for the rest of the day or I'd take off my leg for the rest of the day. So it's nice that I have this option where I can put on a ply sock, put my leg back on, and keep going with the rest of my day. Thanks for watching this short little video and hope you learned something. Bye guys.